Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about a GF of p power n example. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the operations of plus and multiplication. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. There is nothing new concept here. Just for better understanding purpose, with this example, you are going to get better understanding about GF of p power n. So coming to this example, here we are taking GF of 2 cube. P is 2 and n is 3. Means 3 bit words we have to consider. How many 3 bit words are possible? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So total 8 possibilities are there. In order to see, see, we need to understand these operations. It is forming a field or not. So in order to satisfy the properties of field, it has to satisfy the properties of group. But two operations has to satisfy. Here what are the two operations? Addition and multiplication. So in order to understand that uh, whether it is satisfying the properties, what is the first property? Closure property. Means take two elements from the group, from the set 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Add them. Here addition means XOR operation. You do the XOR operation. You have to get the output should be in the set. Then it is satisfying the closure property. You take any two 3-bit numbers, 3-bit uh, uh, words. You do the XOR operation. You are going to get the value that present in the 3-bit word. So it is satisfying the closure property. XOR satisfies the associative property and commutative property. What's the next one? What's the identity element for addition? 0, 0, 0. This is the identity element for addition because you, you add any number with the 0, you are going to get the number. 0, 0, 1. Addition with 0, 0, 0. You are going to get 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0. Addition with 0, 0, 0. You are going to get 0, 1, 0. Because of lack of space, we did not mention the polynomial expression. 0, 1, 0 means you have write it in x. x is the polynomial equation for 0, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, x plus 1 is the polynomial equation. And you, you try to fill the, you do the addition of all the possibilities. 0, 1, 0, addition with 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 0, addition with 1, 0, 0. And you fill the gap. For better practice, you do it. So identity element exists for addition operation. Similarly, what's the inverse element? Inverse element should be exist for all the elements. Do inverse element exist for all the elements? Yes, for addition, inverse element means 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. When you add, when you add these two numbers, you got 0, 0, 0. Because here in A for A, A inverse is a is itself considered as A inverse. 0, 0, 1. What's the inverse? 0, 0, 1. Because if you add this 2, you got 0, 0, 0. You have to get identity element. Then A, A inverse, you are going to get identity element. A, A inverse, 0, 1, 0, you are going to get identity element. So all the diagonal elements, you are going to get 0, 0, 0. Here A, A inverse is same element. A is considered as A inverse. For 1, 0, 1, see here, 1, 0, 1, adding this 2, you are going to get 0, 0, 0. So 1, 0, 1, what is the inverse? 1, 0, 1 is the inverse. Because it is XOR operation, same numbers, same digits, you will get 0. So addition operation is satisfying all the properties of the group. Similarly, we try to check the multiplication operation for all the all the properties should be checked on the multiplication operation. And here one point you need to understand GF of 2 cube and they have given the prime polynomial. Prime polynomial or we call it as irreducible polynomial. So what is meant by prime polynomial? Why we are going to use this during the multiplication? This is the prime polynomial we are using for two cube operation, for three operation. Because, uh, see, when you do the multiplication, the degree of the polynomial is going to go beyond our limit. 
in order to bring back that to the limit we have we have to divide with this prime polynomial so using this prime polynomial we have to do the multiplication operation how we are going to do that multiplication explained in our previous class so here if you if you take any two numbers multiply them if it is beyond our polynomial degree use the prime polynomial and divide it and bring it back so it is satisfying the closure property for all the elements and it is multiplication satisfies associative multiplication satisfies commutative and the next one is it has to satisfies the identity element what is the identity element for multiplication one is the identity element for multiplication any number multiplied by one you are going to get the same number 0 1 0 multiplied by 1 you are going to get 0 1 0 0 1 1 multiplied by 1 you are going to get 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 is the identity element for multiplication so identity <coughs> is inverse elements exist for all the elements except for the first one 0 0 0 don't have the inverse element for remaining all the elements we are having a inverse element for 0 0 1 0 0 1 is the inverse element for 0 1 0 see you got 1 here 1 1 0 is the inverse element for 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 is the inverse element so that's why we have mentioned it in blue color these are the inverse elements for this this one is the inverse element 1 0 0 0 1 1 is the inverse element so inverse element exists for all the elements except for 0 0 0 this is accepted this is what we discussed when we discussed the definition of the field so in this way this gf of 2 power n p power n is working as a field and in our next class identifying the inverse element for a multiplication operation this we are going to use in the cryptography because in our previous examples multiplicative inverse example inverse element during the encryption if you use the element x x inverse is used in the during the decryption phase so that's why identifying the inverse element for a given element is very very important so how we identify the gf uh, inverse element for the given element in gf of 2 cube gf of p power n using euclidean algorithm we can identify the inverse element how we are going to identify that using euclidean algorithm one example we are going to understand in our next class hope you understand this class if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you